Hello, one more battery testing video, hopefully the last one. Uh, I am trying to arrange a couple of hours of uninterrupted runtime for a camcorder and I'm not going to repeat details of my previous videos, I will put links to them below this video. Check them out if you really want to. In my previous video I measured a couple of batteries for this Canon camcorder, one of which was this standard Canon battery, which is rated at 890 mAh and uh, estimated runtime according to this intelligent feature uh, is uh, 77 minutes when fully charged. And my discharge test showed that uh, it's uh, almost as declared. I measured 820 milliamp hours and the battery is not new. I bought the camcorder used so I don't know how many cycles are in this battery. And anyway even if it was new my measurement is pretty close to whatever it's supposed to be uh, so I declare it's good enough. Uh, and another one was a cheap Chinese replacement which was rated at 2500 milliamp hours but uh, discharge test showed it's about half of that capacity. So uh, this time uh, I returned that one to the seller and bought this one and this time is quite promising because I went for the next size. This one is even bigger. It's quite a bit bigger than the previous one. And uh, the rating is minimum 2400 milliamp hours and typical 2580. So uh, let's quickly put it into the camcorder to have a look and then move to the discharge test. So let's see what it shows. So it shows it's fully charged. I just unpacked it and charged it. So this one shows 259 estimated minutes of runtime, which is quite quite promising. The previous battery also promised 142 minutes, uh, which was enough for two hours of runtime. I wanted to, but the discharge test showed that it cannot do that. So let's test this one and see what happens. Okay, it's fully charged, hooked up, same test conditions as before, which is uh, 6 volts uh, discharge cutoff voltage and uh, 500 milliamp hours load. So let me start the data logging and uh, I'll press this load on button. So off we go. And here is the data login going on for a while. Uh, this is a piece of software I wrote uh, in Python using GTK graphical library and matplotlib for plotting data. I made a little change since my previous video. Now the y axis doesn't go all the way to zero. Uh, now it's zoomed in. Uh, so to speak, around the actual data, so we can see more details. And uh, now we see these steps, which is because of the limits of resolution uh, of the voltage reading from this electronic load. So I have this piece of software on GitHub and I will put link to that uh, below the video if you want to check it out and I intend to work more on it later so uh, stay tuned so here is the result of discharging this battery and I am quite happy look at this 305 minutes 
So, with 500 milliamps discharge current, this translates to 2500 milliamp hours. So, this is the first time in my experiments when a cheap, not even branded battery measured uh, exactly what's written on the package and uh, I bought this thing for $25 uh, on eBay from the seller called Accuri Public in Fremont, California so I highly recommend this brand or well, I mean this kind, <laughs> there is no brand on it uh, they look like this on eBay uh, you know, the package looks like this but you don't see it on eBay at least the, the listings I I saw didn't show the package at all so they're just uh, pictured like this so looks like this guy will do the job I want it just fine no problems at all and thanks for watching goodbye